Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to connect this CP1W CIF41 into our PLC CP1H. Okay, now I have here new communication module. So let's open this. So this is the one. So in putting this on our PLC, you have to carefully push this until you hear the click sound. As you can see. So now this one cannot be easily detached. Now it's already here. The second step to do is to change the dip switch. So dip switch is located on the left side of your PLC. So normally, all the dip, dip switch is in off condition. So let's just have here a focus. Okay. So all of these are off. So since the module is connected on the first slot, so this is the first slot and this one is the second slot. So since this is connected in the first slot, we need to turn on the dip switch number 4. On your PLC so for this one so now number four deep switch is on so after that this is the time that we will configure the IP address of this module so but before proceeding we'll just connect this so, I will turn on now the PLC. So, PLC now is turned on without any alarm. Okay. So, we'll connect this LAN cable onto your PC or laptop. Since my laptop don't have any LAN port, so I will be using a wireless router so it's connected here so we're just going to connect on our wi-fi so i will be using this router so first thing to do is to change the ip address of your pc properties So I already assigned 192.168.250.20 and you just click OK. Now let's, now how I know what is the IP address of this module. So by opening the manual, so all you have to do is just read. Anyway, I will just put the link below so that you will just download also this manual. So, it's also stated on the manual, the deep switch assignment for each slot. And then also, the IP address that you're going to browse. So, this is the one. So, all you have to do is to click this or you can just type in this. Okay. Now, it's open. Okay. Now, it's asking for password. So, what is the password? So, again, go back to the manual. And then it's also here. They put the password as well. So, the password will be the default password is Ethernet for the new module. So, I'm just copy this. And then paste it. Here. Then log in. Okay. Now we are in the portal. Just go to the settings. And then in the system, you can see here the IP address assignment. So if you don't like this IP address, then you can change this. So it's up to you what address. So in my case, I will just leave this address. I will not change this. So, okay. We know the IP address of the PLC. So let's ping 
if it's really connected ping 192.168.250.1 so as you can see it's have a reply on the IP address now let's go on the PLC so I have here a sample program so or uh, let's see if we can upload using this but before that we need to change this into an Ethernet Fins TCP and then the settings you need to change the driver into the IP address that the PLC have so it's already assigned normally this is 255 255 255 and 255 port number will be 9600 then just click OK click OK and then let's see if we can connect okay it's asking you to connect yeah now I'm online so our PLC see there is a transfer uh, happening on our module and our ladder have program so let's check let's turn on uh, let's force value force on yes he asked you to go into a monitor mode you just click yes then let's force this input okay now 100.0 is turn on see so i will turn off i will force the value into on then it's off okay zero is off output 100.0 is also off and I will again force I will uh, remove the force again 100.0 is on as well as RPNC is on okay it's very easy so give a like and subscribe to my channel.